peeps it is july 16th and if you're a dc fan like me it's a very exciting week for you um at least it is for me the batman vs superman ultimate edition comes out on dvd and blu-ray this week and suicide squad stuff um is in stores merchandise we're gonna go around today kind of see what we can find show you guys some of the cool merchandise uh, more merchandise comes out next week and suicide squad advanced tickets are now on sale so you can go see it in IMAX or whatever, uh, but they're on sale now. So I already went by Walmart, and uh, because Walmart sucks, they had nothing. So we're gonna check out Toys R Us. I know Hot Topic has stuff. Let's see what we can find. First stop we're gonna make today is at FYE. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention is a couple doors down is Barnes & Noble. And on July 21st, you can get San Diego Comic-Con stuff from uh, Funko and Diamond Direct and a couple of other um, companies, they are selling their San Diego Comic-Con exclusives at Barnes & Noble starting on Thursday, July 21st, the opening day of San Diego Comic-Con. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, check out Barnes & Noble. They may have it and you don't have to go to San Diego for it. Let's head into FYE. All right, pretty good sign we're going to get some Suicide Squad stuff in here, or see some Suicide Squad stuff. Looks like they have a Harley Quinn outfit, much like she wears in the movie. And look at these cool posters. All right, let's head in. In front is the Suicide Squad stuff stuff. Suicide Squad stuff. Um, here's that Harley Quinn shirt we saw. There's some Pokemon hat randomly placed. These little Funko Pop things. Keychains, you can have a Harley Quinn keychain. Socks, tights, hats, some cool t-shirts and Funko Pops. I bought this t-shirt so that I could wear it um, as part of a Joker costume later on this year. Hopefully the movie's good and I won't be embarrassed to wear that costume. But you can see all these different t-shirts. Enchantress, this panda thing, Bell Rev Penitentiary, Killer Croc, this is a Harley Quinn shirt, Deadshot, the whole crew, and a couple of Joker shirts. I like the look at this Captain Boomerang Funko Pop. Pretty cool. I guess in the movie he's just called Boomerang, but he has Captain on his shirt. And here's Killer Croc. Very fashionable. Look at this cool Suicide Squad wallet. Well, I guess it's more Joker than Suicide Squad, but pretty cool looking. If you're a Funko Pop fan, FYE is the place for you. Look at all these Funko Pops here. And uh, if I make a right turn here, there's a full table here too. Funko Pop Overload. For the heck of it, I came over to Barnes & Noble, and look, even they have a Suicide Squad display. Not much here. Funko Pops, and uh, you can have a Joker plushie. Look at that. Deadshot, Katana, and uh, Harley Quinn. Still pretty cool that they even did something, even if it's not much. It strikes me a little funny that I can find merchandise for a film called Suicide Squad at Toys R Us, but let's head into Toys R Us and see what they have. So I feel like this would be unhealthy for Mr. Superman Labbit, smoking a kryptonite cigar or something. What are these things? All right, even though they have a big DC section now, not much in the way of Suicide Squad stuff yet. We've got this Joker multiverse figure, these large-scale Harley Quinn and Deadshot figures. And uh, over here we have these uh, die-cast metal Joker and Harley Quinn. We picked up uh, the Batman one, I think, when Batman vs. Superman came out. But right now the section is still majority Batman vs. Superman stuff. I'm assuming as we get closer to the movie, we'll get more and more Suicide Squad stuff here. Now, obviously your mileage may vary when it comes to Toys R Us and Walmart. Um, we're kind of in an area that doesn't always get the stuff first and doesn't always get the greatest stock. Um, we did pretty good on Star Wars, but um, there's a lot more Batman vs. Superman stuff now than there was when the movie came out. So uh, uh, we're going to check a couple more places. I know Hot Topic, like I said, has a bunch of Suicide Squad stuff and um, see what we can find. But it looks like the merchandise right now is mostly geared towards... Uh, 
you know, teenagers and adult collectors like the multiverse figures, um, stuff like that, which makes sense. You know, it's it's a you know a adult themed movie. It's not rated R. It's rated PG thirteen, but um, given the name of the film. You know, it's kind of one of those things that's certainly going to appeal to an older audience. But uh, you know, the, what I've seen so far, the merchandise is pretty good. Let's uh, let's check out Hot Topic. And uh, there's a Walmart around here, and I, you know how I feel about Walmart, but we'll go look. You never know. Okay, Walmart, don't disappoint me. And nothing. Why do I even bother? No luck at Walmart, but I'm sure. In fact, I can see it right in front. Suicide Squad display here at Hot Topic. Hot Topic doesn't allow video recording in their stores, so I took a couple of photographs of the main table where they had all their Suicide Squad merchandise. Um, one of the coolest things they have are these Joker boxers. They have a couple of belts, a bunch of t-shirts, different um, than I saw at other stores. As you can see here, some Joker stuff, lots of Joker and Harley Quinn stuff. If you wanted to cosplay, they have this pink and blue hair stuff, um, wristbands, you can see plushies in the background, a lot of cosplay stuff, those t temporary tattoos, uh, keychains, lots of accessories. Of course, the usual Funko Pops, including some exclusives, but the main stuff is going to be on July 22nd, where they have a huge fashion line based on Suicide Squad coming out of the stores. One thing I did pick up was the uh, Star Wars Celebration exclusive, Luke Skywalker with no hand. Alright, just out of curiosity, let's check out Spencer's. I don't know if you can hear me because of the music, but look, they have a whole bunch of stuff in here in Spencer's too. They have a different wallet in here. Some more socks. Some more hats. Harley Quinn shorts, or skirt, shorts, shorts. I kind of like this hat too, with the uh, dead shot thing there, in squad we trust. Hmm, pretty cool. And just like the stuff at Hot Topic, you can kind of like cosplay as Harley Quinn with the stuff you buy here. We're back home, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a look. I didn't pick up any of the Suicide Squad stuff today um, while we were looking around. I've already picked up some of the items that I want, and I'm kind of waiting to see how the movie is before I really invest in some of those multiverse figures, because they're 20 bucks each, that kind of thing. And while I like the character designs, I've just been in situations where, you know, I pick up stuff from a movie, and it turns out not to be good, so I don't want to be stuck in that situation again. What I have picked up thus far are um, some of the Funko stuff. Uh, we showed you this the other day, if you've been following the channel. If you're not, make sure you subscribe. We do a lot of cool stuff. Um, I picked up, well, I got the Suicide Squad Joker and Harley Quinn three and a qu three quarter inch figures um, that were in the Legion of Collectors box, DC Legion of Collectors box from Funko this month. Very cool figures. Also in that box was the Enchantress exclusive Funko Pop. Um, and the other items that I've picked up, I picked up a couple of versions of the Joker. I picked up the regular version, uh, well, the regular uh, non-limited version, as well as a Hot Topic exclusive version of the Joker. I don't know why, I really like the look of that character. Um, so. I just kind of latched onto it and picked these up. Um, I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan, so of course I picked up Harley Quinn. This is the regular edition, not limited. Um, and I picked up the FYE exclusive, uh, they're kind of shiny, Joker and his boxers and Harley Quinn um, editions. So Suicide Squad comes out first weekend in August, really looking forward to it. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, tickets are, or advanced tickets are now on sale. You can pick them up at your uh, at Fandango.com, uh, MovieTickets.com, or your local cinema. Um, and I, I really hope it's good. Keep it tuned here to the channel. Of course, we'll do a review of it. And check out Ideology of Madness and our podcast there, Funny Books with Aaron and Pauly, because we'll do a review there as well uh, with the guys on the podcast. As I mentioned earlier... July 21st, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives are going to be available at Barnes & Noble and Hot Topic. Um, so uh, it's Thursday, July 21st, 2016, and uh, what's going to happen is Barnes & Noble will have Diamond, uh, Diamond, Funko, 
and I believe a couple of other uh, smaller companies will um, release their exclusives at uh, Barnes & Noble with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive sticker and everything. Um, and uh, Funko will have their stuff at Hot Topic as well, so they don't put all their eggs in one basket. It's not like the same stuff is available at Barnes & Noble that's available at Hot Topic, so you'll need to hit both if you want stuff from both. Um, you know, check out the internet throughout the week. They'll probably release what's going to be at what stores. Um, I'm definitely interested in some of the stuff, especially from Diamond Direct. As you can tell behind me, I'm a huge Batman the Animated Series fan, and one of the things that's available is a, a Batman the Animated Series statue. Really looking forward to that. Um, and uh, in the coming weeks, we have Star Trek Beyond, so I will be sure to do a review of that. There is uh, Suicide Squad. Obviously, San Diego Comic-Con. We're not going to be at San Diego Comic-Con. I get asked that a lot. Um, I, I did... Honestly, I just didn't really look into it for this year. Uh, maybe in future years. Uh, but, you know, keep it tuned here for the channel for announcements on some of the other stuff we will be at. Including this year, we are definitely going to be at the Star Trek Mission 50th Anniversary Convention at the Javits Center in uh, New York City. That is on Labor Day weekend. Uh, I will be there with Aaron from Funny Books with Aaron and Polly. And so we'll be covering that event. Um, as well as some other events throughout the fall, and, uh, you know, we are big on horror here, so uh, we'll be covering probably haunted house events, stuff like that. Uh, whatever you'd like to see, let us know. Uh, you know, as we move throughout the year, um, we'll be covering different things, like I said, uh, but what do you like to see? Do you like to see us do merchandise? I know we've gotten a lot of feedback that people like to see the merchandise stuff. Um, do you like to see events? Do you want movie reviews? Uh, are you interested in craft beer reviews? I do, we used to do that, um, but it seemed like people latched on more to the merchandise and the, the stuff that we like uh, to clearly, my, my obsession here. Um, but if you're interested in craft beer reviews or as it relates maybe uh, on a geek level, let me know because we'll be happy to do that as well. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that if you, lived near an, if you live currently near an Alamo Draft House, um, it's, a, it's a chain, I think there are about 20-something of them in the United States. Uh, they are doing a special Suicide Squad promotion. Um, we went to the Star Wars Force Awakens promotion uh, that included a special beer glass and magazine, and they're doing the same thing for Star Trek Beyond, and I don't know if there's a magazine, but I know there is an exclusive uh, pint glass for a Suicide Squad. So if you live near one, uh, you know, definitely check out uh, Alamo Draft House because they are, one, an awesome theater chain. Um, we are about three and a half hours from the closest Alamo Draft House, and uh, I've actually driven there a couple times. I might do it for Suicide Squad, I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys know if I do, and I'll bring you guys along with me. But it is absolutely worth making the trek out to. Uh, good food, great beer selection, uh, you know, and they are really tight on uh, cell phone usage in the theater. And best of all is their pre-show entertainment uh, is not the usual first look that you get at the the chain movie theaters, it's more of a specialized pre-show program designed for the movie you're about to watch, at least in my experience. So, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you guys who have subscribed or checked us out on a whim. Um, if you want to see more Suicide Squad stuff or uh, anything, more Star Trek, especially Star Trek. Star Trek's coming up in the next couple weeks, so look forward to that. Uh, keep it tuned right here on IOM, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.